Russia has vowed to seek revenge against Washington after a U.S.-led coalition shot down a government warplane in Syria on Sunday. According to a statement by the Syrian military, the plane's pilot is now missing following the U.S. F-A-18E Super Hornet fighter jet shooting it down over the countryside south of Raqqa. According to the statement, the Syrian warplane was carrying out operations against ISIS shortly before it was targeted by U.S. forces. Just a few days ago, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned that the United States would face dire consequences if they target government forces in any way. The statement added that although such attacks seek to undermine the Syrian armed forces struggling against terrorism, they will not be deterred in fighting for stability and security in the Syrian Arab Republic. The downing of the Syrian warplane and SU-22 was confirmed by an official press statement from Operation Inherent Resolve, the U.S.-led international task force against IS, which accused the Syrian government of targeting fighters from the Syrian Democratic Forces, a Kurdish-led militia. At 6.43 p.m. local time, Syrian regime SU-22 dropped bombs near SDF fighters south of Taqwa and in accordance with rules of engagement in Collective Self-Defense Coalition, partner forces was immediately shot down by a U.S. F-A-18E Super Hornet, this statement read. The statement added that its mission is to defeat ISIS in Iraq and Syria and that the coalition does not seek to fight Syrian regime Russian or pro-regime forces partnered with them, but will not hesitate to defend coalition or partner forces from any threat. This is not the first time the U.S.-led intervention in Syria has led to standoffs and violence against pro-government forces. In September 2016, a coalition airstrike on the Dir Zor killed over 60 Syrian soldiers, while in April of 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump ordered a Tomahawk missile strike on a Syrian airbase, ostensibly in retaliation for the use of chemical weapons by the Syria government, though no concrete evidence of this has ever emerged. Early in June, the U.S. deployed several high-mobility artillery rocket systems in southern Syria, close to the border with Jordan. Russia Foreign Ministry Sergei Lurov said the presence of the rocket launchers cannot be justified by a need to fight Islamic State terrorists as IS forces are not active in that area. Instead, their presence threatens the cooperation between the Syrian government and their partners in Iraq. Now, with the United States shooting down this Syrian SU-22, this will undoubtedly worsen the situation over in Syria. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.